Good morning everybody, welcome to this very special day, happy Easter to everybody. Um, we're here at the Vicarage, we're just waiting for uh, a special guest to arrive who's just going to come and explain a little bit to us about what the meaning of Easter is, but uh, it doesn't seem to have arrived yet. So if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to pop off for a moment and see if I can find him. Bye for now. Hello everybody! Oh, wait a minute. I was expecting a celebrity to join us. Not, not a bun. A bun? A bun? I'm not just any old bun. I'm an M&S bun. A hot cross bun, no less. Ah, oh, I can see that now. <laughs> and I may not be a celebrity, but I am current. <laughs> <laughs> yes, current. As in current bun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And then since you so much like jokes, here is another one for you. Knock, knock. Oh, no. Uh, who's there? A bun. A bun who? A bun dance. Ha, <laughs> ha, get it? A bun dance. <laughs> oh, oh, very good, very good. Now, if you don't mind, hadn't we better get on? I mean, are you going to help me explain what the real meaning of Easter is? Yes, you look like you could do with all the help you can get. Cheeky. So, how do you know all about Easter then? Well, you could say that it's in my blood, if I had any. But let me explain. When you look at me, what is the thing that strikes you, apart from my natural good looks? Uh, well, oh, well, I suppose it's that big scar on the top of your head, like a cross. Exactly. It is to remind everyone that Jesus died on the cross for all the bad things, called sins, that they have done. Jesus died so that we can all be forgiven. Oh, right. I understand that. Um, well, what's that nice smell, though? Well, that is the smell of all the spices that they put in me. They remind us of the spices that they put on Jesus after he died, when they placed him in a tomb. Oh, right, yeah. It was a tradition, wasn't it? It was a tradition in those days that they wrapped the body in a linen cloth and put spices on it. Exactly. And then what? Well, I guess the thing that strikes me also is your shape. I hope you're not suggesting to me that I look F A. Oh, no, 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 of course not. It's just that you're sort of, um, well-rounded. Well, that is to remind people about the heavy stone. Not that I am heavy, of course. No, of course not. Not at all. Good. But my round shape is a reminder that Jesus was placed in a tomb and a large round stone was rolled across the entrance to seal it up. So that no one could get in. Exactly. Next... There is a very special ingredient, which, if it was missed out, would mean that I would look as flat as a pancake and be hard and not very nice at all. Mm, what's that then? It is the yeast. The yeast makes all the dough rise and that gives me my shape and makes me all nice, fluffy and very, very yummy. Mm, I understand this. If you didn't have yeast, you'd be flat and hard and kind of dead, really. And Jesus, if he wasn't God, would still be dead. But as he was God, he was able to rise from the dead. Yes, God rolled away the stone from the entrance of the tomb, which is how the women found it when they went back to it on the third day. Exactly. But you still haven't explained to me why you have lots of fruit in you. Isn't it obvious? What do people say to each other on Easter Day? Uh, oh, I know, I know. It's Alleluia, he is risen. And all the buns reply, it is a raisin indeed. <laughs> no, they don't. They say he is risen indeed. Just as I said. Uh, so, when you enjoy your hot cross buns this Easter, you're asking us to remember the significance of all the ingredients. 
Um, the cross, mm -hmm. the spices, mm -hmm, yeah. the round shape, mm -hmm. and the yeast. Exactly. The cross is to remind us that Jesus died on the cross because God loves us so much. So, let everyone enjoy the buns, the bunnies, and the chocolate eggs. But remember that the most important part of Easter is that we are celebrating when Jesus died for our sins and rose again, that we can be his friend too and be saved too. Thank you. Um, you any idea where Reverend Steve disappeared to? Well, I, I don't know. He seems to have just disappeared off somewhere. But anyway, I expect he'll, he'll show up again soon, I expect. Oh. Anyway, I'd better say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye and have a very happy Easter. Bye. And you have a happy Easter too. Thank you. Bye. Bye.